Now exactly one month since the March 11th disaster, Tokyo Electric Power Company has begun using unmanned heavy equipment to remove radioactive rubble at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. Hydrogen explosions blew off the ceilings and walls of the number one and number three reactor buildings. The debris is emitting hundreds of millisieverts of radiation per hour in some places, hindering the restoration work. The utility started using remote-controlled power shovels and bulldozers to remove the rubble on Sunday afternoon. A lead-covered mobile operating room will be used for places that cannot be reached by radio waves. TEPCO says the rubble will be put into containers and stored at the plant under strict supervision as it may be contaminated with high levels of radiation. Heavily contaminated water in turbine buildings and a concrete tunnel is also hampering the task of restoring the reactor's cooling functions. As of Sunday morning, highly radioactive water was only 92 centimeters from the top of the concrete tunnel at the number two reactor. The utility plans to begin transferring the water from the tunnel into the reactor's condenser. Demonstrators staged a rally in Tokyo on Sunday to call for the closure of all nuclear power plants in Japan. <laughs> The protest was organized by eight anti-nuclear groups following the disastrous events at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. The organizers say about 2,000 people took part in the demonstration. The protesters marched more than four kilometers. They urged the government to make a policy shift to use alternative energy resources and shut down every nuclear power plant in Japan. Outside the industry ministry and the headquarters of Tokyo Electric Power Company, the demonstrators called on the government and the firm to take more responsibility for what happened at the Fukushima plant. They also demanded that the Hamaoka nuclear plant in Shizuoka prefecture should be shut down, saying it too is vulnerable to a tsunami.